Hey guys, welcome back to the Bull Combo. Today we're going to be reviewing the Movo PR1 smartphone grip. Alright guys, so before we get started, I just have to give another shout out to all of you. The amount of support I've received over the last month has been amazing. If you go back through my videos, you'll see about four weeks ago I posted my 2018 channel update. And I thank you guys for uh, hitting a little over 100 subscribers. Uh, as of today, we're over 320 subscribers, so that's just amazing. So from the bottom of my heart, guys, thank you so much for all the support, all the feedback, all the likes, all the comments, everything. It's all appreciated. It doesn't go unnoticed. And uh, I do my best to reply to all of them and interact with you guys as best I could. So I hope you guys enjoy this content. If this is new content for you guys or if this channel is new to you guys and you like what you're seeing here, make sure to click that subscribe button down below and make sure to click the bell to get notified of new content. That way you'll be notified every time I post a new video. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started with this. So uh, I picked this Movo PR1 smartphone grip up about four weeks ago on Amazon. I believe I paid $29.99 for it. Uh, which is, you know, pretty low price for a smartphone grip. It comes in two versions. There's the standard smartphone grip, and then there's the smartphone grip with an additional shotgun mic included in the package. Now, I bought just the grip. Uh, in retrospect, I probably should have bought the grip and the mic because I really like the quality of the grip. But the mic is something I can buy secondary, so it's not initially required at this point. So, uh, inside the box is essentially just this grip. Um, now, the grip itself is made up of a couple different materials. The top section of the grip is plastic. Uh, the bottom section that you'll be holding the most right here, this is metal uh, with a gel, some sort of gel grip. Uh, but it's very heavy, very solid uh, metal. Uh, and it can also be unscrewed as well. Now, uh, in between the piece of plastic and metal, we have a, uh, a hand grip that you can use to keep from dropping this. Now, the base of the grip, as you can see, has uh, a leather strap so uh this should be able to take some good wear and tear take a good beating uh, and i don't think it's going to disconnect at all so that's a that's a that's a big plus uh, it also has this adjuster at the end here to uh to tighten the string obviously depending upon the size of your wrist to make sure that uh it stays snug and then when you're filming if you drop it for some reason you don't drop your phone and everything on the ground so um something as little as a grip is or as little as a uh as a wrist strap is a big deal on a grip like this especially when you might be holding an 800 dollars 1000 dollars phone inside of it so Definitely don't make. Definitely make sure, guys, when you're looking at something like a smart grip, that you look at some of the other things that surround it, some of the additional accessories it comes with, such as a wrist strap like this, because a wrist strap is really important. Um, if you're filming something, especially from a really high altitude, uh, dropping your grip and dropping your phone uh, can be anywhere from extremely damaging to absolutely devastating. So, my recommendation would be make sure you're using the strap when you're holding any sort of grip, smartphone grip. Just you know. Make sure you're being safe. So, uh, you know, on top of the good build quality of this, I really liked the versatility of, of this grip. So there's four different areas that this can be mounted on a tripod, starting with the top, uh, the back, as well as the bottom of the grip. They all have uh, tripod mounts, so it can be screwed onto a standard tripod. Uh, the other thing that's pretty cool is that this grip actually unscrews and underneath is another tripod style mount. So uh, you can take off this grip completely and just mount this flush onto a tripod. Now, what I found myself doing is actually utilizing a small uh, hand grip style tripod like this in conjunction with the smart grip. And what I'll do is I'll just screw the, uh, the tripod on the bottom like this. And then as you can see, I have smart grip with a tripod bottom so I can take still images, I can take uh, time lapses, I can take uh, any of those images or videos that I would need to take with extreme stabilization where I couldn't have shaky hands of any sort, where I just want to set the camera down so I can take uh, an, a video of myself, a selfie, whatever the case may be. So you can really see how coupling this with something as basic as a miniature tripod can really enhance the uses of it. And that's why uh, I think this is a really versatile grip, um, just you know, for the, for the applications. Uh, whether you want to use it as a grip or you want to use it as a smartphone mount for a tripod, uh, whatever the case may be, this allows you to do it. So I think that's a really uh, overlooked aspect of this. On top of it just being a smartphone grip, it can be used for a lot of other purposes. So uh, it's important that everyone understand that. Now, the third thing I like about this is that it has a shoe mount on the top for a shotgun microphone. Like I mentioned, uh, the larger version of this grip, or rather the larger package that includes this grip, uh, also includes a microphone made by Movo as well called the PRX10. 
uh, and it slides right into that shoe mount on the top and then it has a cord that connects to your smartphone so uh, between this and the microphone you essentially have an entire compact vlogging rig in your hand uh, so if you're an intro level vlogger if you're a new youtuber if you're someone that likes to take a lot of video on the go uh, where you're not using a tripod like this and you're using a, a handheld uh, camera or you're holding your phone by hand something like this is extremely useful uh, just you know whether it's for stabilization uh, or just being able to hold the phone without, uh, without having to worry about putting your finger over the lens or accidentally hitting something on the screen of your phone uh, you know just for those purposes alone a grip like this is extremely useful now uh, something else to note here this hand grip that comes off the bottom does have the uh, the standard tripod mount style screw so you could screw this onto the bottom of a point and shoot or any other uh, camera DSLR or otherwise that accepts or screws onto that style of tripod and then you can use this as a little grip for your camera etc I really like the fact that they made the base removable so that this could be used for other purposes uh, and I think that in and of itself makes this an extremely worthwhile product to purchase so the last video I posted was a how-to guide on how to replace the LG V30 camera lens protector. Uh, the glass on the camera lens has for some reason has been breaking and I'm not really sure whether it's a defect in the lenses or whether it was just a subset of products that came out with a defect in the lenses. I'm not really sure what it is. Nevertheless, uh, I did go through the process recently of replacing the camera lens on my LG V30. So I figured that while I was doing the review of this smartphone, I would also give you guys some example footage of the LG V30 post lens replacement, just so you guys can see that the quality on the LG V30 uh, isn't degraded or negated in any way, shape, or form by replacing the camera lens. Overall guys, I'm extremely impressed with the Movo PR1 Smart Grip. I think it's extremely versatile, I think you get a lot for your money, and for any intro level vlogger or YouTuber, I think it's a must have. So I'm definitely going to recommend this. Again, I'm going to include a link to the product in the description below. Feel free to check it out. Uh, if you do pick it up, you know, let me know how you like it. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Uh, that feedback is really appreciated. Uh, if you have any questions, comment below. As always guys, make sure to subscribe if you like the content you're seeing here. I'm going to be putting out new videos every week, and I love to hear from you guys. So other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and as always, we will see you soon.